What's good, everybody? It's your boy Chaz Custom, Custom Model Cars. A big shout out to everybody. Much props. Thank you all for your comments. Appreciate it very much. Got another model kit review for you guys. It's on the uh, Motor City Muscle by Revell. 69 Shelby GT500. It's a 2 in 1 kit. Um, it's a 125th scale, scale level 2. Uh, unfortunately for this 2 in 1 kit, it was given to me without the uh, other parts to make it a 2 in 1. So it's just basically stock, which is fine. Because I am a big fan of these GT500s. Don't know why, but I love all cars, but this one I'm another fan of. Uh, just because the body styling and everything. And I'm glad I didn't come up with the uh, the street you know street parts for it. It's, it's just all stock, so it's really awesome. Um, so on a scale of 1 through 10, I give this kit um, a 9. So that's that. So on this side of the box, I, you have your information, your paint guide, and of course your box art is going to be the same on each side of the box. And then on this side, you have your pictures of the built-up model itself, the engine. Uh, see, I don't have that engine. I have the stock engine, which is, like I said, it's fine. I love the stock engine. Not a too big fan. I'm not a big fan of big motors in this kind of car, so I just love this car the way it is. Other Mustangs are fine, but, you know, it is what it is, you guys. So... Let's go ahead and crack this puppy open and show you guys why I give this a 9 rating. Okay, you guys, we're going to start off with the instructions here. And, of course, when you open them up, there's your decals there. So let's go and set those to one side. So, of course, you get your brief history of the vehicle itself. You get your information, some more info there, and your paint guide. Um, the instructions are well illustrated. They're easy to follow, but I'm not sure if they're easy to understand. But they are easy to follow. So let's go ahead and um, look through this really fast show you guys on um, the parts that's missing from this kit so we have our street version part here that you know gives it that hopped up motor look and stuff you don't get two different kind of engine blocks or whatever you just get different parts um, let's see let's go through this da -da 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 -da. okay you get two different kinds of axles oh no you get you get the one axle set up which is all you know got to mold it in everything here but you get these little blocks to raise it up a little bit in the back compared to the stock version okay and uh, of course you get two different rims you get the stock and you get the custom I only have the stock uh, wheels which is cool fine by me um, well, let's see it's funny how they're trying to make um, make these into like stock and custom lights when they're all just the same thing you know what I mean they're the same numbers it's just funny that way but um, let's see I guess that's about it for the instructions so I don't see anything else custom or whatever so that's that just want to share that with you guys and here are the decals here of course you got your wax paper to protect everything you get uh, black white and gold stripes and you get uh, four different kinds of uh, license plates you get two Californians and two Illinois and then you get um, dec uh, factory decals for the air cleaner and the engine compartment and there's a few other decals down in the bottom so there you go really nicely printed okay we're gonna start off with the hood here uh, it's very nicely molded you just gotta clean around the edges you do get um, your molded in hinges and then you have the really nice air scoop that's been already um, cut out and then here's a uh, plus side of this kit it does not have the molded in hood pins you get those on the chrome tree which is really nice so that's awesome and you get two of the scoops that are non-functional but very nice detail and you got some underside detail as well you got to clean up some pin marks here and then you got to clean up some in the bottom and then two up here just to make things you know look smooth you have to do that very carefully and you do get a section to cut out for your high-rise manifold and if you're doing the stock way you don't need to remove that so but it's kind of odd that they have this removed and yet you have a scoop so just very trippy but nonetheless it's a very nice hood and it's very very long and it's curved so it's pretty nice moving on to the body we have the molded in door handles um, we have the molded in uh, windshield wipers the battery, the radiator, and the radiator core, and then your hood latch itself. But it's very nicely detailed. You get you have to uh, attach the front part of the radiator there, 
The fender wells are very nice. Firewall could use a little bit of you know detail after you put your you know brake booster and whatever you know. But other than that, it's very very nice. Same with the battery. Um, the battery's molded very nicely as well. It's got some nice raised details. So, and it looks like it's sitting on something instead of being a one block thing. So, and there's some ribbing detail on the on the radiator itself. So, but the body's very long. It's very very nice. You got your you know little aerodynamic thing going on here in the front end so don't worry about that that's not you know a flaw in the kit um, just some little minor cleaning around the edges everything seems to be molded very nicely and detailed nicely there's the back end of it of course it comes with two pieces got your uh, side marker light on the rear quarter panel so overall it's a very very nice body and by far one of my favorites so and you get a Cobra badging on the pillars there um, on the bottom side, you do have to clean some uh, sink marks, and there's like a number seven or something on here. You can see that. So you got to clean it up a little bit, but not too much. But overall, it's really, really nice. Okay, now here comes the downside of the kit. Well, first, before we get into that, the dashboard is very nicely detailed. Okay, of course you got your little clock right there, and then you got your gauges there, and all the little nifty details that goes along with it. So this is a very nice dash. A very nice dash. So very nicely detailed and everything. For the interior tub, sometimes I ask myself why. Why do I even... <sighs> but anyways, got molded in door, hand, uh, door panels. I don't mind that but the center console and then you have your molded in rear seat like I know the other Mustang kits come with just the bottom part molded in but wow so everything is molded in you get molded in carpet detail as well um, you get some floor mats that are molded in those are a nice touch and your pedals are molded in too so but I at least you know the center console is all detailed and everything same with the door panels it could be worse you know and then you got your little supports for your roll bar that goes in there okay but the back seats is, is you know very nice and you do get some chassis detail underneath the tub because of the gaping hole there but other than that I guess it's pretty fine for what it is you know can't complain much could be worse so there you go and here's the chassis of course your whole front assembly is molded in and you're going to be seeing all this crap you know through the hood so that's the downside of that and you got to clean up some molding here which is very thick plastic um, so here you go you got your steering linkage your sway bar lower a arms all molded onto the chassis itself so you have to sit there and detail detail it very carefully you get some stamping on the side here some copyright stuff so, but the rest of the chassis seems to be fine. You just got to do some edge cleaning and that's about it. But that whole front assembly, that's just really disappointing. Okay, now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Here we are with the parts. Um, let's go ahead and show you guys this one. Um, here's the um, big block Ford engine. You get two halves, of course. Very nicely detailed um, engine, including the transmission as well. You get your roll bar right here. For the interior, you get your stiffener bar for the engine compartment, your radiator shroud, and your little intercooler. And all is very nicely detailed. Your shroud has got some bolt detail there. Your stiffener's got bolt details. So that goes in your engine compartment. But overall, very, very nicely detailed engine and parts and stuff like that. So these are really cool. And then this one, you have the backs to your wheels here. You've got your um, stock shocks here. You have your manifold, and then you have your two-piece carburetor system with the um, throttle linkage detail and everything. Then you have your air cleaner here. And then you got your side mirrors, your oil filter. You have your water pump down here, your radiator, two-piece header, um, your oil pan, and your um, cylinder heads. Very unique uh, looking header. Never seen one like that before. But it's got some uh, design. To, uh, it's got detail to it, anyways. So same with the water pump and everything else but this one you need to clean up the sink mark that's on there and you got to clean these up a little bit as well the headers 
damage. So that's that one. And on this tree, you have the back end of your exhaust and you have the rear valance of the vehicle itself, which needs a little cleaning. Um, and then you have your fan, you have your rear axle um, with the molded and leaf springs and drive shaft and it's very, it's not molded correctly. Um, as you can see, you know, real leaf springs don't have gaps in them, but it's all good. And then here you have the center piece all molded out, so it's all hollow. So thank God you won't be seeing that part, but um, got to do some cleaning on the back of it. But then that's a pretty nice setup. Then you have your radiator hose. You got your master cylinder brake booster. You have your um, distributor. You have your fan belt and pulley assembly. You have the um, another set of shocks here. Uh, I think these ones are the raised ones, and then you get these jack-up blocks for your rear suspension to raise it up a little bit, and your steering wheel, which you can drill out the holes and detail yourself. But overall, very nice parts. Just got to do some little cleanup here and there, that's all. Okay, on this parts tree, we have the uh, front valance, which needs a lot of cleaning. And just a quick suggestion, the front and the back valance, you might need to glue on beforehand, uh, before painting. That's just a suggestion because I think from what I heard that there's some fit issues with them, so... But it's up to you. It's up to you, so don't worry. But you do need a lot of cleaning, though. And then here you have your side scoops for the body. You've got your uh, other half to your um, stock exhaust here, which is nicely detailed, but it needs a little cleaning. And then you have, I think these are air shocks or something. Those look like air shocks, so that's pretty cool. It comes with that. And then this one's the top of your radiator with your molded in horn detail, and there's another little thing there for the intercooler. So that's very nice that they included that. And then you got your backs to the, uh, back of the seats, nicely detailed. And then you got the front of them, which are nicely detailed. And they kind of do resemble a Cobra, to be honest. If you look at it, you know, like like the way it is, just looks like a Cobra. So, but very nice overall. And here we have our chrome parts. We have a chrome front end. Um, very nice. You got to do some black wash detailing in there. And, all that good stuff, but very nice front end. And here you have your Krager style wheels, the stock ones, which I'll be using. Um, you got your uh, hood trim. You got your um, what is this? Some kind of license plate bracket. This is the uh, the rear piece right here. This is Shelby, and then your back bumper here. And then over here you got your exhaust, and those are your tail light buckets there. And then over here you got your her shifter, your rear view mirror. Um, these I believe might be um, the breathers for the um, for the valve covers. I'm not sure, but the valve covers look really cool. And you got a detailed distributor. You got your side mirrors right here, and then you have your um, all your lights for your front end. And then you got the back tail lights here. The, uh, for the reverse lights very nicely molded and very nicely done as well so very pleased with the chrome tree okay now we're moving on to the last parts of the box the clear parts and the tires um, here you have your clear red molded part uh, for the tail lights it's got some nice uh, ribbing detail there so these are very very nice and then of course you have your windshield assembly which is in the bag which is very nice um, I don't see a lot of is that a blemish Oh, even though it was in a bag, it got a little blemish to it. So it's on a little corner there, but um, there you go. And it's got the side windows molded in already, so don't have to worry about fighting with that and getting that installed. You got your two headlights and you got your um, turn signal lights here. So rolled, uh, molded all in there, so that's pretty cool. The back window seems fine. It's just that front one has just got a little scratch to it, but it's all good. Now, I'm not for sure 100% if these tires... Um, go with this kit or not the guy that gave me this kit said they do but um, I'm not for sure because they don't they just don't feel like Ravel quality if you know what I mean so hold on one second let me uh, put this tail lights in here so here's the on um, the tires which um, needed to be punched out I guess and the deep it's got you know sidewall detail lettering nice tread it's hollow uh, vinyl or hollow plastic so there you go. So not the best looking tires and I won't be using these ones but just wanted to show you those. Um, but other than that, uh, 
This concludes the uh, model kit review for the uh, 69 Shelby GT500. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, hopefully you guys you can score a kit like this one. Stock or the 2-in-1 version, either one. Uh, to make it part of your collection. Just uh, keep in mind that there's a few molded parts here and there and everything. But I'm sure it'll make for a nice build. So, But anyway, stay tuned, to, uh, for, uh, stay tuned for more videos. And until then, you guys, keep your heads up no matter what through all the struggles. Keep hope, keep faith, keep up the great work. Keep on building those models. Keep doing what you're doing. And until then, you guys, it's your boy Chas Customs, Custom Model Cars. And I'm signing out. Peace. Custom Model Cars for life.